Welcome to the ITDVDs.com YouTube channel. This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. If you would like to see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Now let's begin the sample. We've seen Ethernet frames a little bit, but let's take a closer look at an Ethernet frame. There are two Ethernet frame types, Ethernet underscore 2 or 802.3 underscore Ethernet. Uh, by far the more used frame type is going to be Ethernet 2, but we do need to know about 802.3 Ethernet frames. Now let's talk about the frame fields, and we'll take a look at a frame here in a second. The first field is going to be a preamble. This is just going to be an alternating uh, 101010, so alternating bits, so that the receiver of this frame can lock on to a clock rate of 5 megahertz. And then there's a start frame delimiter that ends with a 1-1. One, one. And this basically lets the receiver know that, okay, we're going to start our frame here because the preamble is 101010. And then comes the start frame delimiter, which ends in a 1-1. One, one. So it got two ones in a row. Now we're going to start our frame. Then we have the destination address, which is going to be the MAC address of the destination of the frame. Source address, this is where the frame came from, the MAC address. Length or type. Uh, with 802.3 frames, it's going to be length, and with Ethernet 2 frames, it's going to be type. And this is going to be the Ether type field, and we'll talk about that in a second. Data. This is going to be the actual data in the frame, so whatever the frame is encapsulating. And then we have our frame check sequence. And this is going to store the cyclic redundancy check answer so that the frame can be checked for errors. And cyclic redundancy check, also known as CRC, is basically a mathematical algorithm that can be ran against the frame to make sure it's in good shape. Here's what an Ethernet 2 frame looks like. We've got our preamble, destination address, source address, type, the data, and this is going to be a packet. It's basically what is what the Ethernet frame is encapsulating. And your frame check sequence. And down here we have our 802.3 Ethernet frame. This has a length field, whereas the Ethernet 2 frame has this type field, or also called Ether type. And this is why Ethernet 2 frames are actually used uh, more than your 802.3 Ethernet frames, is because the type field specifies what protocol is encapsulated by this frame. And here are some common Ether types. There's a lot of them. Uh, 0x, 0800, and the 0x in front just means that this is in hexadecimal format. So it's common format. But again, we'll get into hexadecimal later. Uh, this is IP version 4. 0806 is ARP. 86DD was IP version 6. So those are some common Ether types. We don't have to memorize those. It's just kind of nice to see them. And with an 802.3 Ethernet frame, uh, since it doesn't identify what protocol is being encapsulated, if it was to be used, it would actually add an 802.2 um, logical link control header uh, that would specify what protocol is being encapsulated. So that actually makes it have more overhead because it's going to have another field. So those are our Ethernet frames, and we do need to know the fields. So we want to memorize the different fields in our frames here. 